What's up, Suave crew? You back with your boy, Mr. Suave, Michael Vasquez. And I just want to give a quick shout out because we haven't been really throwing out our sponsors. We have a sponsor. Check out Winifred at Tino the Tiger at Instagram. He's got some great clothing line. The former, like, legit sponsor of the Suave podcast. So there we go. Episode four, we already got a sponsor. So we're already doing big things. Number, number one trending podcast in Minnesota, guys. We're coming up here. And now we got... The stylist his own, the artist of suits. Chavis, how is it going, my man? It's so glad to have you on. Oh, man. What's good, dude? Thanks for having me on, man. Dude, Appreciate I'm so it. happy to have you on, man. Get to talk yeah, some dude. suits. Dude, did you see? I, you know, I had to pull out the tricks today. I had to pull it out and let them know. You know, we coming in here styling. We do it right. You know, even the glasses. That's fly, dude. That's classic. That's classic. Have you ever read? That's it. That's your style. I did cheat though. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I did cheat. You know, I did cheat though. You know, I had a little sweatpants on, but it's all about the top. It's all about the top that matters. You know, (laughs) only what the people can see, my man. What'd you say? It's a zoom. It is the zoom outfit, man. Heck yeah. You know, but you know, I this was the first suit I got from you though. Like back in the day, man. Oh, this your graduation outfit. Yeah, this was my graduation. It still fits me like a glove. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing, man. <laughs> maintain, you maintain good, dude. That ain't, you didn't put on the COVID. You didn't get the COVID-20 or whatever, you know? No COVID. Yeah, you know, you know, you just kind of like stay looking like, I know. Like, our metabolism is so freaking good. You know, you already know in our family, you know, you can yeah, have. You, you hit like 30 and then you just, you better start really watching it. <laughs> Heck yeah, we got some uncles that eat McDonald's at, at midnight, and they still ain't gaining no weight, so you know, we stay fresh over here. But, dude, it's so glad to have you on. I'm thinking, like, we have to, like, make this, like, like, a, like you know, a regular thing here, just because, you know, when you hear suave, you hear smooth, you think of a guy that's classy, that knows what he's doing, so it's only formal that we do this for the suave podcast. Oh, we have Mama Vasquez in here. But that's all right, though. Uh, <laughs> but but like, you see that, guys? We just juggle through everything, man. You know, people come in and out. They want to see the podcast, but you got to wait. You got to keep it real. Gotta you got to keep, keep it gotta real. You got to wait until YouTube. But we chose the name Suave because, like, that's the total opposite of me. But we do want to look the part. Chav, we're going to be talking some suits today, man. Are you pretty excited or what? Yeah, let's get into it, man. I'm game. I, I talk all night, so you, you got to cut me off at some point. I'll never know <laughs> Let's what go. I do, man. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So what we're going to be doing here today, guys. So um, right now, we are not on Spotify. We're not on Apple Podcasts. We are strictly a YouTube podcast. So like, we want to like mix things up for you. So today, we're going to be having some cool-ass pictures of some you know like cinema suits. You've definitely seen them before. And we're just going to be like, talking about them. And like Rain, I mean, Chad's gonna give us his input, his professional input. He's been doing this for years now. Worked at Jaime's. And where are you at now, Travis? Now again? Uh, I'm over at Milburn now, over in uh, St. Paul's Midway. A little family owned, fourth generation spot, real classic St. Paul. Well, see, that guy's no. See, if you need a suit now, go check out my boy Travis. He'll hook you up, get you right for a wedding, prom. It don't matter what it is, formal, business casual, he'll get you right. So, Chav, so this is how we're gonna do it, though, man. So, we're gonna have. Well, obviously, you, we won't be able to see it, but for the guests at home, we're going to have a picture pop up. We texted each yep, other yep, already, yep. and then we're yep, just going to be going through it. We're going to get your advice on it, and we're just going to be talking some fashion, man. You're pretty pumped or what? Let's get it going. Yeah, you got it, man. Let's fire it off. All right, man. So the first one, the first picture we got going on here, it's it's a classic. We have to talk about it. The Dumb and Dumber suits, man. They're just... Yeah, this... <laughs> Yeah, you still get a lot of you still get a lot of demand for this. I, I think really? the average dude Oh yeah. I mean your average guy, he just he don't know any better, you know, about style. So he, he's always kinda looking for like I wanna see it in the movie. I wanna I wanna see my friend do it, you know, and then he'll be like, Okay, I want that. I want that look that, that guy had in that movie. Um, I mean it doesn't get much more classic uh, than Jeff Daniels, uh, Jim Carrey here. I get asked about this constantly. Do you guys rent the orange tuxedo? <laughs> Even as a joke, when dudes are down there with their bridal party, you'd be like, yo, 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 we, we get in the orange tuxedo, right? Like, tell your wife to mess with your wife a little bit, you know? So it, it's <laughs> classic. You know, if you look at this style, though, 
uh, you know, top down, literally the top hat down. I mean, if this suit was black and white, it'd be classic. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so to me, we always hate on our parents' wedding photos. I mean, this looks straight up 1970s, like prom, 1970s wedding. This was the style during that period. You had everything that came over from Europe at that point. It was... Uh, the British invasion, right? So the Beatles came over in the 60s. That brought a whole counterculture of fashion with it that I don't want to look like a boring business dude. I want to be flashy, you know? So hate on this outfit as much as you want. Uh, if this if this stuff was fitted, if these dudes stepped into the party, they're the life of the party, right? And it, oh, to me, yes. it, it, and it expresses another thing about clothing with me that you, you you dress to your character, right? Like, these dudes are clowns. So they kind of are dressed like some clowns. You know what I'm saying? So there ain't no sense in, you know, trying to pretend you're something you're not putting on a costume. These dudes walk up in the party, even in that scene in the movie. Everyone else has got the tuxedo on. And then they're looking at these dudes like, who are these clowns? It's like, well, it's a comedy. These are the clowns. They're the, they're the stars <laughs> of the movie, you know? So... It's got its time and its place, but that dude, that that outfit, I still get asked about that. So people <laughs> literally will come into your store and be like, "I want the Dumb and Dumber outfit." Like that, this is like oh, still yeah, a thing. Just, just jokingly, I think it's kind of a pop culture thing. I, I'm more surprised as I get older, the younger cats that are still thinking about <laughs> this outfit. You know, so like you said, it's something you know you've seen it because uh, you've seen it before. So. All right, so I think this is how we're gonna do it. We got a random out of ten now, so we got. I think we have, we're looking at, how many suits are we looking at here? We're looking at 12 suits. We're going to rate them out of 10, and we're just going to get, we're going to see what you think, man. So on the Dumb and Dumber side, what are we getting this one out of 10? You know what, dude? I, I ain't going to play. If, if you can pull this off, <laughs> that's an eight, 8 out of 10. I okay, mean, we're starting strong, okay. But I mean... You know what I mean? You ain't no square cat if you're pulling that off. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like... Is live, and I'm all about color. I'm all about bold. I'm all about different. So you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go eight, eight, eight. I'm gonna get six, eight point oh on now. Eight point oh. Okay. Okay. We'll go. We'll take an eight point oh. All right. Nice. All right. So this where one. Where you I, at? Where you at on it? What's your perception? Oh right? man, uh, dude. Like so. You're the expert, but for me, I don't know, man. Like just like, I, like that design in the middle. What is that called right there? So he, so Jim Carrey has on like a plaid and then uh -huh. like that, that style of collar that comes from back in the day when your collar would pop off your shirt. It'd be a pop on collar and a pop on cuff. Oh, really? Okay. So it, it, they call it a banker style shirt when it has the white collar and the white cuff. And that's because back in the day you could only afford one good shirt. So when your collar wore out and your cuff wore out, you just went and bought a new Pop on. Oh, dude, that's so Pop. smart. That is actually so, pretty yeah, smart. yeah, I mean, stuff nowadays. Yeah, so it, it's interesting. And then, yeah, and then Jeff Daniels, he's got all the, the Austin Powers, like the ruffles on. I mean, it, yeah. it's 1970s for sure. Oh, man, I feel like I'm going to get clowned for this because eight, an 8.0. Eight I'm not too far off on you. I'm going to give it a 7.4 just because yeah. I'm respecting. I'm respecting, you know, you're going to go out. You're going to be fashionable. You're going to be... You know, you're gonna be, everyone's going to be looking at you. Everyone's going to know what you're wearing. But I don't know, man. It's, it's wild. It is a little wild. wild. You, you can definitely tell, like, this was before because I feel like the suit game is a little bit different. You can even look at my suit, suit too. It's, like, you can see how the trends have, like, turned different. Like, I feel like suits before yeah, the, was more of a looser look. Now it's more of, like, you know, you got to get that tight fit, you know, showing, yeah. like, your shoulders and all that stuff now, too. For sure. For sure. I, I, I'm with you. It's, it's wild, but it ain't whack. No, it's not whack. It's like, honestly, yeah, it's like, yeah. If you wore that to a party, I'm probably going to think you're the coolest dude ever. So oh, yeah. You got to have some stones. You, you got to <laughs> have some stones to pull that out. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah, man. All right, we'll move to the next one. So this next one here I wanted to ask you about was, yeah. so it's a scarf. Like this scarf look here now. Like I've never yeah. seen someone pull off the scarf look with the suit, obviously, like, when you go in the winter, you got that big overcoat one. But, like, to yep. rock it with just a suit alone, give me your give me your personal, uh... I, 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 like, I like this. This is very Italian. When you look at Italian fashion, um, 
it, it, it's very much geared by the fabrics um, and, and things being very pared down. So you, you have this beautiful uh, burgundy sport coat that's just got that nice deconstructed look. It's a very soft shoulder, so it's not a really built up like suit shoulder. Um, and it's all the devil in the details, the pocket square that just has the little bit of burgundy edging on it. I mean, it looks like he could almost even just be rocking a pair of jeans with that vest. So I, I like it. it. It plays up to the fact that if you have some good big pieces and you just sprinkle in some dope accessories, that can make the whole outfit, right? The gold watch, he's got the nice belt, the pocket square, the scarf. It, it's just, I, I like this outfit. I, I think, think his collars are strong. popped up a little bit too. How do you feel about the collar pop? You know, it's like, that's a little you know, bold move itself, man. Is it the collars are well, popped? If you look really closely, what he actually has is kind of like what I got on today. It's like a button-down collar. Okay. So the, the collar is there, but it's just real crispy. Um, and it looks like it has a button-down on it. Uh, but, it, I mean, that's classic. You know, white shirt. You got the red blazer, blue pant. It, it's, it's a timeless look. This is very European. I would say, uh, very fashionable. I'm definitely a fan of, like, the the pocket. What do you, oh, I don't even, I'm just blanking on the name right now, but, like, the pocket square, right? They'll call it a pocket scarf, a pocket silk, pocket square. Yup, yup, yup. It's, it's basically a glorified handkerchief. It'd be the fanciest thing you ever blow your nose with, you know. Just, <laughs> All right, out of 10, where are we getting this one? Who are we getting this one out of 10? You know, I like this, uh, but it, it's a little played out to me. It's a little basic for me. I think the average cat that, that don't get dressed up a lot is going to hit this outfit and think he's 10 out of 10, which <laughs> cool. Don't go there. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm like, I'm wild, dude. I'm like 6.5, maybe 7 on a good day here. It, it just is strong. The fit's good. But this is every dude either in Europe or going to Europe wants this look. It's a really? little, it's a little plain. See, I mean, this look is out there, just like the last one, but it's a different kind of out there. I feel like this one's more of like, like the last one's more of like a comedy look, but this one's more of like a here I am, look at me kind of look, kind of like more of like yeah. hate to say, it, but more like, of like kind of like that you know jerk douchebag douchebag look where you know it's like I'm the coolest guy in the room, check me out. You 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 flex it in this outfit. I mean, you yeah, the club kind of flex here, and I think if you don't know how to wear that scarf properly. It can send the wrong message. It can come off a little too contrived, right? Yeah. You, you got it. To me, it's always how do you put the pieces together? And, and really, like here too, I'll be honest. Like I can't see this dude's face in this picture. And to me, the whole outfit is always about a person's face. The whole outfit should always send really? you back. To yes. When someone stops you and they say, "I like your tie," or "I like your your pocket square," or whatever. That is inferior to somebody saying, yo, Mike, you look good today. Because when you look good, it, it's top down. There's not anything I can like pick apart in the outfit that's going to focus my eye there instead of on your face. You're always selling yourself on every outfit. So remember that because some guys just get, you know, flamboyant, you know, peacock. And if that's them, cool. But if you if that's not your inner character, it, it can look a little off, you know. All right, so for that, I'm, uh, oh, so I'm going to rate it real quick here. I'm going to rate it a 5.7. We'll give it a 5.7. I'm a little bit harder on these ones. It definitely is a cool look. It is a cool look, but it's just not my cup of tea. I'll say that yeah. right off the bat. But for you, though, now, so when you go into a suit and someone walks in your store, you're obviously not just going to, like, any other. You're not going to, like, the regular suits. You're going off, like, what they look like, body shape, skin Correct. tone, I'm guessing, too. Is that, like, a yeah. huge part of the suit process? Yeah, I mean, usually I'm going to kind of size somebody up when they come in as to, like, what I perceive their color palette to be. So I, I kind of like to make my own color uh, wheel for a client, even without them knowing. So I, I'm not going to put anything on you that I think is going to be bad. But it also, I, I interrogate you a little bit. It's, it's hey, what's what's the purpose of this garment? Um, you know, where, where are you going to be? What are you going to be doing? Who's going to be there? What You know, if you're going where to work. What do people wear at your work? What, what's the dress code? You know, to me, the clothing for a man is, it's like armor, right? You got to go do battle somewhere. I want to dress you to go do battle effectively, right? And sometimes that means putting on the full suit, the full suit of armor. 
you're going onto the battlefield. It's it's all heavy heavy equipment, blah blah blah. But sometimes what you're gonna do is more specialized, and and then I want to get that sniper surgical precision of I'm just dressing you for this specific role, right? I don't want you to look like every other Larry lawyer that's marching into 3M or Target corporate. I'm gonna dress you for this purpose that you told me. You told me, hey, I got this interview. It's a it's a design job. There's a lot of artists there. I'm not gonna send you in there with the corporate blue blazer. That you're gonna look whack, you know. So it is a lot of finding the customer's inner self and how do you bring that out with the with the clothing. Well, I mean that's super awesome, man. Just even like look at that and like really just like nitpick it, you know, just to like really dive into what's the purpose of the suit and even just the yeah. rocket, man. You like. I remember because when we went to, uh, I'm just like going off and ran here now, but I know when we, uh, like when I, I told you I had a graduation, this suit, you're like, hey man, this blue, it's going to be popping. It's graduation. You might be looking fly, man. And I know when we started talking about like even wedding, no two, you got, you even look at the season of it. Like you're not yeah. just like looking at like, oh, you're going to a wedding. Like, no, we're looking at the season. Cause I remember my dad got like, what is that? Like maroon. It's a turquoise. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Yeah, he got that charcoal, but it has that yeah. burgundy. Paint. Yeah, that yeah. burgundy, man. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's, like, super cool how, like, you really just, like, dive into, like, the whole suit game process, man. It's super freaking awesome. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. No, yeah. So we're, we'll just move on to the next one. Seriously, guys, if you guys need a suit, go check out my boy, Travis. But here we go. On the next one, Leonardo DiCaprio in The Great Gatsby. I'm a huge movie fan, so a lot of these are going to be, like, actors and stuff. But yeah, Leo, yeah. Brock and... It's a white suit, right? I mean, that's so, a, that's pretty much white there. Yeah, and uh, when you this this is something that ever since the Great Gatsby book came out, <laughs> um, people people hold this character style in, in a very high esteem. Um, I think the the book itself, you know, definitely frames the lifestyle that these people are living. Um, so that's a huge part of this outfit, right? You're, you're running around these country club cats, right? University club dudes. I mean, these dudes are off, you know, playing croquet, uh, at the university club in white linen and seersucker suits. Like it's Minnesota. You only get to wear linen for a couple weeks out of the year, you know? So an outfit like this, you're definitely speaking luxury. It, it, it's a niche piece. There's not a lot of replay value on this. Every time you wear that, people are going to remember, there's that guy again in that white suit. Um, it's classic. I, I mean, the styling for this wardrobe of this whole movie uh, couldn't be better. I think this outfit's a little played out. Personally, I've seen this so many times. Really? Yeah, I mean, you can, and you get dudes, like I said earlier, they don't know any better. They see this, and then they immediately think in their mind, I want the great Gatsby outfit. And it's like, okay, bro, like, I get it. You a trust fund kid, like, right on. Get the silver spoon out of your mouth. Oh, silver yeah. spoon. We're calling you guys out, man. Open, you in a white open, suit. Open, open, open up your wallet. We'll give you whatever you want because you can't think outside the box. So it's classic. Um, I've seen these dudes. I know these cats. It, it's cool. It ain't my cup of tea here. I mean, Leo, whatever, he'll look good with mud on him. You get those dudes that they'll say that. So it's fly. The the wardrobing for this movie. So good. It was so yeah, good. You get, oh, anything here. That classic Brooks Brothers, that Ralph Lauren. It's Americana. Yeah. Uh, it, it's truly different than the, the English school of thought. You know, the American sensibility for this level of fashion. Um, I, I like it. It's tasty. Uh, I, I'm probably like a, I'm probably like a hard seven here. I mean, okay. if anything okay. sticks in, you know, if, if okay. a six and above is attractive, it's attractive. Yeah. But it ain't out of the park for me, you know. Okay. Okay. I, I definitely see that. But dude, have you ever? Well, I'm gonna go first with the brain here. I'm gonna give it an eight point one. So far, this All is right. my favorite suit, dude. I. It might be just All Leo, right. just being Leo, man. Just like pulling off no. this suit. Like seriously, this man's pulling off the suit, like. Like, no one else, but just that white Offer. silk suit, man, is, like, something about it, bro. Like, if you can pull that off and keep that thing squeaky clean, dude, that's it's, such a yeah. clean look. So clean. No, I agree with you. It, it's money. I mean, like I said, it's money, right? You, you showing money, you know what I mean? You, you 
flexing like that. And you get the cats that do the all white parties, right? So then everything's all white, you know. It, it's how do you feel about white well, suits? Like, do you like well, recommend it to people ever, or is it just kind of like more of like it has to be asked to like be given that well, service? Yeah. So like a good segue, even going into your next image here too, with the the cat with the black tux. Um, yeah, Jason Sudeikis. We'll put that up right here. Yeah, and it's funny because people think that black or darker is more formal, right? We think of the black tuxedo, uh, the black bow tie. Believe it or not, white is more formal than black. Really? So, yes. So when you have an event that calls for a uh, white tie attire, that's more formal than black tie. So when a, when a bride gets married on her wedding day, she'll wear all white. Mm. So I do like all white suits, but it's it's very much a one trick pony, and usually the occasion to me has to command it. It's for a groom for his wedding day that his bride's wearing all white or all ivory or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I love white linen. I think white linen's great. That summer look of the white linen suit I, I think is very classic, very elegant. Um, it, as you get more into clothing, you'll really start to notice that. The, the look of the suit isn't as important as the feel of the suit and the fabric and, and how the garment's made, where it's made, what it's made out of. Because you could get a cheap white polyester suit and you'll look like you're going to prom. You know, <laughs> if it doesn't fit you, if it doesn't have that, that construction um, to it. So again, Leo... You've always told me that too. The fit's everything. Honestly, like you can oh, be, get dude, you can yourself a suit at Burlington and get the fit right and you oh, look good. Gosh, I, no doubt. I, I go to Goodwill and find you a jacket and turn it inside out hell yeah yeah so that it, you know that's part of what it is but you know going going from that the white the white suit to the black tux here you know it's uh there is an element of formality that i like to educate people on um and that's just letting you know that hey the white is more formal you know even for the groom the white tie the white suit you might never think of that but when you get into that picture where it's just you and your wife that's the whole shot right there. And again, like I said, you want the attention to be on the person's face, not the suit. The suit should fit you, but I don't want to be focused on that on the day of your wedding. I want to see the bride's dress and yep. the whole picture she painted, you know. So there's a time and a place for it, you know. Yeah, it's definitely a sweet. Piece. It's so sweet, super pricey. It's like almost got like that... Um, I've no like it's more of like that ele like what is that like is those like usually like that elephant like kind of like look they call it like uh, I might be off here on that but it's like an elephant silk is that what it's usually called or no am I way off the silk no like something like elephant ivory is that like the the shade of the suit or no yeah if they'll call it like a tusk yeah it's like ivory okay. it's a, yeah it's supposed to be like the elephant like that off-white kind of color. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I figured yeah. It was something like that. All right, we're going to move yeah. to the next image. Jason Sudeikis. And honestly, it's just like this basic suit, but I wanted your... Like, I chose this one for a reason. The tennies. The tennies. tennies. How do yeah. you feel about the Jordans with the oh, suit? Oh, I'm all, I, I'm all about it. Okay, about okay. It. I didn't know if you would be because I feel like you're more of like an, an original guy almost, but you're with the, you're with the, the Jays being in the suit. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, you know, to me, it's like there's so much of the book of etiquette of men's fashion. Yeah. you got to just throw it out the window, <laughs> you know. And, and that's a classic menswear quote. You know, you, your clothing should look like you you chose it with care. You, you fawned over it for hours. And then all in one moment, you just forgot about it all. Because it do, you don't want to look contrived going outside, you know. Especially nowadays, because guys don't get dressed up for work. So it's like, yeah. if you out there trying to flex, it's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're kind of coming too strong almost, you know. Um, where stuff like this, it's real, you know. Like, he's probably like, yo, I've been on the red carpet before, and <laughs> those tuxedo shoes are not comfortable. I'm going to flex on them with some dope kicks. Like, Those are I'm the Jordan 11s, the man. The retro. I got, dude, I got... I, they probably look disgusting. I got tennies on right now with my okay, friend. Like, okay. I'm all about it. I, I think, you know, part of part of developing your own original style is you have to know what, what history has told you, but you've got to be willing to adapt. Uh, you can't be that grumpy old man looking at the young kids like, they're wearing their clothes too tight, and <laughs> who, wears, 
who wears tennis shoes with a suit? Like, bro, you don't know anything, obviously, so we ain't listening to you about your... Hey, you man, know, trends change, man. They change for sure. Come on, now. Well, but, but men's fashion, it's secular. It'll all come it comes back. back. It does come back, though. So, yeah, for real. I, but, I but then the fit's that. a little different, right? Or the lapels are different, you know? But I, I like the tennis thing. It, I've embraced the tennis, the dress sneaker. There's so many high-end manufacturers that make a, a dress sneaker now. Uh, Gucci, the Louis Vuitton, the Margiela's, Golden Goose. I mean, you can spend more on a dress sneaker than a dress shoe nowadays. It's great. Really? Wow, okay. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's it's they, they, like, design them just for suits now. Like, they're legit sneakers for suits. Like, you don't even have to, like, go yeah. to, like, even, like, Foot Locker. You can just, like, go to... A gentleman's store with those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and and look at too. Look at the look at the you know like sneaker heads you know on Netflix or or, or the the Jordan craze. Oh, yeah. um, you know we we've grown up in a culture where we value the collectability of the Jordans, right? So there's a there's an element of your outfit that like like you're looking at Leo in the all white suit, and seeing him like, well, that dude's got to have money because he's got that clean white suit on, dude. I see someone come in with them old school Jordans that look brand new. That's the dude that's got money. The white suit, you can take that to the track. <laughs> them air, them Jordan, ooh, you ain't keeping them clean. Don't, hey, bro, those are like, spendy now, bro. Those, oh, those be spendy. Air. Heck yeah, oh, man. Dude. They even go more than for 200 some pairs of shoes, man, depending oh, on what it is. there's collectible. I know that are sneaker heads to the max. And, and and you're a collector. Uh, you know, I'd say people collectors. You collect until you become a historian, and then you, you know that's what happened. You collect, <laughs> you curate, and then you know that then you know the history. You're like, bro, I got those back in the '90s. They're brand new. You know? I mean, yeah, so I, I like it. I like the sneaker thing. Uh, all right, so I I tell what we get in this one here with the sneaks. I'm going up on that one. I'm, I'm probably gonna go eight eight point five, eight point six. Okay, like okay, this. okay. It's strong. It's strong. It's classic. Um, I don't think it's wrong at all. Anything he did here with the outfit, you don't want to get too prommed out and put on like burgundy to match her. But I think he could have brought something else here. I don't know if he don't even. This suit is so clean on this dude, it don't even look like it's got a pocket for a pocket square. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah I, no, I'm gonna give it, dude. I'm gonna give it seven eight. I'm gonna give it seven eight just because. I respect this shoe game. I think it looks super good. And this is a good score, I feel like. 7-8 is a great score. But his girl's wearing red, man. I feel like he could have, like, done a little bit more. Could have got some, like, Jordan yeah. with some red in there. Or even, like, kind of, like, spiced up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I mean, this has got to be, like, a high-end uh, tux, though. No, it's a high-end tux, for sure. No, yeah. yeah it is a high-end tux. One, but, but it's so I basic, mean, though. It's, like, almost like a tuxedo kind of look. You know, like, you're going out to prom. That's something I wear when I was probably, you know, the bow tie look. It's a little basic. Some things here, just to tell your cats, though, I, I like how he has this shirt. This is what's called a fly placket shirt or a hidden placket shirt. So it doesn't have the little black studs like they gave you at prom. Mm -hmm. This this is a very expensive style of shirt where that whole placket is actually hidden. It, it, it's hard to sew a shirt like that. Um, so there, this is kind of, again, one of those devil-in-the-details outfits. There's no pocket on the coat. That kind of uh, tips you off. Just a one button. Real hard to find one button anything. <coughs> really? So those, yeah. those type of yeah. shirts, how much would you guess that, like, that's, like, costing right there? I mean, you could probably get one of these shirts for around 100 bucks, but, uh, I mean, I guarantee you what he's got on there, that's this probably, like, a $300 shirt. Yeah, some designer stuff right there, man. It's sharp. It's a cool outfit. All right, cool. All right, so we're going on to the next one. This is our, let's see, which one is this here? We got our fifth one right here. Popping up on your screen right now, we got Brad Pitt in Fight Club. And this is something, it, I'm not sure if this is a suit or not, because, like, I was doing some research. I was looking up cinema stuff, and this one popped up, and I thought this would be something so cool to talk about just because it's got that, that leather coat look. And I've known, yeah. I've seen people pull off, like try to pull off like the leather coat to like a formal event and just like stuff yeah. like that. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think I think this image and then the following image, um, they, they, 
they share a good harmony with one another as, as to what this outfit is. Um, I really like this. I, I love the movie. I love the wardrobe. I think this is a really great outfit. This is a hard outfit for people to put together. To pull off, um, even. Like, you gotta be Brad Pitt. Yeah. Oh, it's like you would pull this off to look good in it, you know? You know, leather nowadays, it has to be fitted. It has to be tailored. Um, you can big, tailor big, You can tailor leather? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, not every not every seamstress is going to do it because okay. you need a different machine to get through the leather, a different needle. Um, oh, wow. Okay. But I like this look a lot, dude. I, 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 I'm a huge fan of the Hawaiian shirt with, like, a blazer. Um, it's just more of, like, for me personally, who I am as a, as a dresser, yep. it's like, you know, I'm not this square business dude. You almost have a little bit of an edge to it, you know, and, and you saw that a lot with leather, uh, really from the, the 60s, 70s on, onwards. And then once pleather became a thing, you know, we can make a, a plastic, a synthetic leather. I think that's when it kind of got bad throughout the 70s into the 80s. And then in the 90s, you had cats just rocking oversized blazers and leather goods. <laughs> um, of course, something to take in consideration here uh, are, are animal rights. You know, I don't want to open that can of worms, but, you know, there's something to be said about your clothing that you're picking your clothing with a conscious mind. Uh, you know, where, where does this garment come from? How is it made? What is it made out of? Right? So something like this. Well, we weren't just shearing the sheep to make the wool. We had to kill something, you know. And yeah. That's where we got this product. Um, it, 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 me, it harkens back to uh, the origins of men's clothing, period. Not even dress clothing. Think about the original thing that a man ever put on. It was probably a caveman looking at a woolly mammoth thinking, I'm freezing my butt off right now. <laughs> that dude looks warm. I need that. I want that hair. I want that fur off that animal to put onto myself. Um, so I think leather, it always has that that edge to it um, that that you know something died, right, for me to get this garment on. Well, um, even so the shoes, too, man. You see those those shoes are now even made out of, like, crocodile now, like, or python. You know what I'm saying? Like, those oh, shoes now exotic. are just so yeah, crazy, yeah. man. So crazy. You can get, like, yeah. it's it's kind of ridiculous how, like, pretty, they look so clean, look so sweet, but like you said, you're opening a can of worms when you start that conversation almost. Oh, I mean, think about think about the fur business. Dude, fur was huge throughout the 1800s, the early 1900s. By the time the <coughs> 60s and 70s rolled around, people were asking questions like, where is all this fur coming from? And then you see these mink farms that these minks, they don't live a good life. I mean, they're mashed with every other animal. Yeah. They're just getting killed, you know? So then you have people going around throwing paint on people's fur coats, you know? So oh, you, you do, want to cut out yes, coat. yes. I forgot right? that was a thing, man. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's funny when you look at the pages of history for stuff like that. Again, you know, to me, you, you dress to your character, um, particularly if we're dressing people for a movie, right? We want this character to be edgy. Right, so he's got these this leather on uh, the the Hawaiian shirt. To me, is the ultimate kind of I don't want to say f you at the corporate people, but it's like, hey, I have a collared shirt on, and it's not your basic white shirt. You know, it's fun. It's not supposed yeah. to be conservative. You know, it's wild intentionally being wild. What do you give this one out of ten, Chad? What What's this one to you, dude? I'm up there on this one. I, this is this is I'll get into the nine range. Because I, I like this. Okay, I like okay. this. I think it matches his character well. Um, and to me, this speaks more of to what style truly is. You can buy fashion. You know, you see people with North Face, Gucci, uh, Louis Vuitton bags. I'm so I see so much of it. I don't want to. I don't want to hate, but uh, you know, we're hating. We're hating it's here, kinda man. Like, it's kind of like you know. Yeah, you got the money. Cool, but you know what? I could go to the Goodwill, style somebody up, and you'd be like, you wouldn't, you'd be like, that guy looks cooler than this dude with the with the Armani suit on, because that oh. looks plain Jane, you know. Yeah, and honestly, you could look just as wealthy as him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can walk in the same room and you just be like, oh, like, don't know which one is wealthy. Almost what you're saying, right? Exactly. It's, it it, it, it all it, looks the same. It's all about the fitting, well, though. Like back to what you've been saying. It's the fit. 
but it's also it's the style you know style is different than fashion you know you can buy fashion pieces you can't buy style you know style is something that you, you as a wearer of clothing develop over time like when you were younger you dressed a certain way because your mod dressed you and then you were in high school you dressed a certain way because you were trying to get the attention of somebody right or you're trying to fit in with a certain crowd i was there too you know and then eventually one day you look back and you're kind of like, well, that ain't me. I'm, I'm not that guy, you know. So you, you always are evolving uh, like anything in life, and your clothing should reflect that. You know? Okay, okay. So what are you giving this out? You said you're in the nine range for this. I'm a hard nine on this. I okay, think 9. okay. 9. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to call that, we're gonna call that um, a first season score. You hear a rookie score. You ever see Barstow? They say... Yeah. That's that's a rookie score. We're gonna call that a first season score here, but we're not hating. Totally get it. Um, man, I am at like I'm gonna say eight point five. I'm gonna give this an eight point five, right. just because yeah. like like you said, man, like it is so like hard to pull that off, and if you can and just like look as good as like uh, you know like how many people are like Brad Pitt, but at the same time though, if you can like literally just like pull that shit off, man, kudos to you. I mean like. You're gonna be looking way cooler than the guy in Gucci at the at like a, at a function. Almost. Oh, and, and that's just it. That's just it. Like you're gonna be going up to that guy, and be like, what's your lifestyle? You're not going up to do with the yeah. Gucci because you always see a guy with the Gucci. Like you're going up to that no. guy, and be like, hey man, what's up? What's up with you? What do you do? Where's the party at? Where's yeah, party? where are you going after, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And right. that's why I said this this outfit and the next outfit. They, they kind of share an inner harmony for me. Yeah, so, okay, so this next outfit is from Scarface, Al Pacino, killing it right Boy. here, right Boy here. Matana. And yeah. I'm, not, I'm sorry to say it, but I haven't watched the full movie yet. But I do know the symbolic meaning of this suit, though, man. It is like... You've seen enough of it. Yeah, it's so freaking awesome, man. And, like, I, I was a little bit hesitant to put it in here because, like, I was wondering, like, you know, we got Gatsby and now we're going back to a white suit. But this one's a little bit, this is a white suit, but like the Brad Pitt one, it's a little bit more edgier. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's more of like, it, it's a different kind of look. Like, I think when we looked at the scarf one, that was more of like trying a little bit too hard. This one, you can see he's attempting it, but at the same time, it's like laid back almost. What do you think? Yeah. 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 I, uh, I, I'm a huge fan of this look. If, if you look at the, the fashion trend for men that's coming from Europe right now, this this era and this style is what's coming back. So it's oh, the wow, it's okay. the late seventies into the early eighties. Um, you're getting that wide lapel again. You're seeing no tie because nobody's wearing ties no more. The pant it's a little higher rise pant. It's like a high rise pant. And then some of the pants, the pleats are even coming back too. So you know again, this outfit to me there is that similarity with the DiCaprio one in that. You're wearing white. You're wearing a light color. There's a level of wealth, uh, formality that comes with that. But you also got to put the, the outfit into the context of the story, right? Like, this is uh, a, a kingpin, right? A drug kingpin yeah. uh, in the biggest, you know, hub, uh, you know, in, in the United States, right? So, how, to me, I go back to that, that uh, the, the kind of the idea that I'm dressing you for battle, right? You got to go do battle somewhere. How am I dressing you for that? So you got to think he was on in the battleground, Tony Montana, right? Like it's a war zone, and this dude ain't—he ain't putting on no bulletproof vest with a helmet. My man's got a fly linen suit on with that pop collar. It just—it speaks of the confidence of the character, which is huge. Confidence is so huge when you're pulling off an outfit. Yeah. If you got that chicken costume on. You're strutting it like the cock walk down the block. <laughs> Wear it, dude. Wear it. Right? Yes, sir. People don't. That and that's why I went high on the on the rating for the Dumb and Dumber look because you got it. Yeah, have the confidence is so huge, man. Off. I think even just and with the yeah, not even suits alone though, but like if you're rocking something, and you walk in a room, bro. You have to like act like you have that. You have that it thing. You oh, have that no confidence. Acting. You have just, to do. It, you, yeah, it ain't no acting. It's just you, you know. And I think um, the clothing in that movie it, it really captures that era very well. It's like Miami Vice. Miami Vice was a little after that, 
Never seen and the that. stuff kind of got a little comical with the pastels and all that. But, um, you know, uh, Giorgio Armani, uh, the, I think the other movie was Rich, with Richard Gere was American Gigolo. And that was a huge movie for clothing at the time because you were seeing clothing kind of get big and comfortable. Um, so it's funny that everybody now wants this little skinny suit. And I call it I call it the Pee Wee Herman fit, right? Everybody it, wants it. Yes, dude. Tight. And we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that later because, like, I do want to ask you about the pant look now. But we're we're gonna get into that in a second here. But out of ten, what are you giving this one right here? The twenty Montagna look. I, I'm up there. This is an eight. This is a strong eight. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First season score. I, I think. Yeah, it's dope. Square. <laughs> I mean, that he might have went one more button lower than he had to on that shirt, but he's got the chain on. I'm he's got the chest hair. I think it, you know, if you have chest hair, I'm like, yeah, it, you know, it's a little like I, I don't want to see it, but I get it. Like you're gonna do that, cool man. Whatever. Um, dude, for this yeah. one, I'm going 8.2. A little bit higher than okay. you. Just because of the whole yeah. confidence thing. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I, I'm, all right, I'm pulling, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm pulling an 8.7. This is an 8.7. I'm sorry. I, I'm changing my mind on this one. Because I'm, I, I'm trying to remember my scores for the other one. And I think this one's better than the Brad Pitt one, for sure. Okay. Just because of the confidence. Okay. Like, and I do love the chain look. I do like that it amplifies like it shows and represents just wealth and you know confidence but also he's not trying at the same time like he's not he doesn't look yeah. like he's trying at all like he's just like yeah this is me i'm that motherfucker walking in this room bro you're gonna yeah. look at me you're gonna admire me you know what i'm saying it's that for kingpin sure. look man for sure for sure dude. yes all right so for this next look we have this michael b jordan look and there's one thing i did want to ask you and i think you're gonna know what i'm gonna ask you for this one yeah. But that it looks like almost like a robe look, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With that with that look right there. I don't know if the fans, uh, if the people here can see it. Maybe we'll zoom in on the YouTube channel. Yeah. But it has like a, almost like a robe look. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, this is very high fashion right now. This look, um, Europe or America. This is this is high fashion. You know, you're not wearing this to work. This is a high fashion piece. Uh, the, the belting, which is that, that portion of it that's going around his waist there, uh, it is a gentle nod back to um, one, one kind of historical part of men's clothing, which is the, ro the robe, the lounge robe. Um, we see a lot like with the Hugh Hefner, like the smoking jacket, the velvet, <laughs> right? He brought the robe back, man. Seriously, you can wear a robe and be a boss, man. Well, and, and there's something to be said about that because, you know, men's fashion, it either evolved from a military garment, which is like the suit. Well, that's what military. I was going to say, though, because like the French kind of like are the British, one of the two star that like they did want to look like professional for battle. I think that was like the case or something. I do remember they were the first ones yeah. to come up with like that whole like outfit and like, you know, represent the, the luxury. French, yeah, yeah. The, the French were the first ones to institute like a dress uniform yeah. uh, for their troops. And if you look at all the good tailoring nowadays, it's it's French, it's English, it's Italian, it's American. Yep. So the people that are really good at making military uniforms got really good at making suits because it's the same thing. Um, so this outfit, to me, you're kind of incorporating a couple of those things. The, the classic casual side of the robe with that, that cinched waist, um, but also that, that really aggressive pinstripe. I, I love that he's you know, really taking the color theory to what's going to look good on me. And for as wacky as this outfit kind of looks, it does look you a little crazy. Attention, you want to pay attention to dude's face. Like, that's kind of where your eye naturally wants to go, is back to his face. And so, oh, I definitely agree with you there. I think the suit looks, per like, good on him, of course. Like, it looks great. It doesn't have that collar look. I, I don't know what the fantasy is, but... They, it doesn't have a collar, so it's just like that straight, like almost like a priest look, you know, without like yeah. uh, like a deacon maybe, almost just like no well, collar. Well, call just that a like a, band, a yeah. band collar or a mandarin collar. He has a collar on this shirt. It's just really short. Oh, okay. Then, now, I'm zooming in, but like, yeah, for the people at home watching this, you cannot see yeah. it, but it's definitely shorter than this one right here. It's like definitely like really up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, in this shirt too, Mike, it has that same... Uh, placket, like I said, on the tuxedo outfit, where yep, the buttons okay. are all hidden down the front, which makes it look even more money, because it's just super clean. No, yeah, and if you zoom in more, dude, you go to his right hand, like his right side, 
Yeah. It's a tag. Is he not wearing a tag, dude? Yes. So that's uh, that's funny. That that uh, what they call that is a is a Joker tag or a Joker ticket. That usually gets left on the coat when they're manufacturing it for identification. Uh, over the past couple of years, it, it's become more and more trendy, not necessarily to leave that ticket on, but to have another wild ticket that's intended to be left on the garment, you know, like an ID kind of thing almost, that's not supposed to be removed. Really? And they call them Joker. Yeah, well, they called it a Joker ticket back in the day because if you left it on, you were a Joker. Um, but here it's obviously intentional it's clearly part of the outfit and um i even love the devil in the details look at he's got the little cross up on his lapel yeah he does dude yeah i, I this is like colors look i think the black and uh it's like oh like how you know it's like a black and white almost but the white is like kind of the the pinstripe look and it's just yeah. they just play off each other super good i just love that it's look cold. it's cold i mean in the right lighting too this garment it actually could be um Midnight navy, potentially. It really? looks okay. real close. It looks like it's midnight blue, yeah. Oh, it could be, yeah. That's, that's the fly off it. I, it looks dude, pretty sweet. What are you giving this one out of time? What's this I'm, one to you? I'm 8.7 on that. Okay, it's okay. Fly off it. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to give this one an 8.2. I'm not changing the score here, guys. It's an 8.2. I'm going to give it an 8.2. I really do like it. Um, Yeah, it, it's so cool, man. It's so cool. I really do like it. I feel like, I, like I'm not giving it enough love just because of scoring, but... No, I really do yeah. like this one. This one's it's really sharp. sweet. The shoes, and that's a dope outfit. Yeah, 100%. All right, so this is the one I want to talk to you about. This next one here yeah. that's popping yeah. up on the screen. Uh, yeah. So two things, obviously. So you have the crossplay, you know, half and half yeah. suit. Uh, I feel yeah. like people are trying to make that a thing now. I'm not sure if that is a thing, but they're definitely trying to make that a thing. Like, What are your thoughts on it? It's a thing. Yeah, color blocking. There's a lot of like, manufacturers that are into color blocking. They like to do that. Yeah. Um, this, this this is huge overseas, like in a lot of different parts of Asia. You, you'll see this from really high-end um, custom tailors like Hong Kong, Vietnam, Korea. Uh, you'll see a lot of this look. It's very tight. It's very short. Uh, um, so this, again, is kind of going back to that. I mean, this is even tighter than Pee Wee Herman. You know, this is like... Well, because a lot of what's happening... Well, it's so short up the... Like, dude, like, I, I don't know if you see this at home, guys, but, like, literally, it's a half sleeve right here. Like, you know, it looks like something you wear, like, those baseball fit looks, you know, like, you know, in the sand lot. It's that cutoff right here in the in the middle of the arm, I mean, man. Yeah, you, you had the Jonas Brothers rocking stuff like this barely, <laughs> barely five, eight years ago. I mean, it's, for the guy that's built like this, it's not a bad outfit. Like it's a skinny fast. look, almost? Like a skinny guy? Yeah. Okay. It, it's very fast fashion, though. Um, so, you know, you get something like this, I wouldn't invest a lot in it because how much replay value are you going to get off of this? It doesn't have a lot of mix and match potential. It's definitely a fashion outfit. Like you're trying to piece together uh, a bold contrast color block outfit for an occasion, or you're trying to flex on somebody, or I don't know, maybe that's just you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'll be honest, like, I'm a straight dude, like, I'm not going to dress, like, too metrosexually because I don't, I'm not trying to send that image out to the world. So this is almost like a, a homosexual thing, you think, or no? No, I don't got, I don't got okay. a pigeonhole it like that, but I'm just right. saying, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a lot of straight dudes that want to put that outfit on. Okay, okay. Know, well, dude, and, and also, too, it's got the high water look, so this is another thing I want to talk about. I feel like... Guys, not even just in suits now, uh, you know, just at St. Thomas, I know people might clown me on this, but I've seen some dudes in those skinny jeans, bro. Those skinny yeah. jeans, that light blue skinny jean, bro. And it's like... Don't hate. It's like up here, like on their shins, man. And I'm like... Well, yeah, I'm, it's like capris. They're wearing some capris. And I and I was looking at it. It was, my, it was like my first week at St. Thomas. And I'm, I saw it a couple of times. I'm just looking around. I'm like, this is like a normal thing here. I'm like, if, like back in the day, man... We wore that. We're gonna clown like, yo, man, your clothes don't fit you. What you doing over there? And it's well, it's a different look. What what are your thoughts on it? So the first thing I like to educate people on about this is that um, the designers, like they're they're definitely kind of fooling you, right? Because they get paid to get you to to buy one thing, and then once you have too much of that, they got to sell you something else. Mm -hmm. um, menswear really closely follows 
the the market. When when the market's good, like go back to the to the Al to the Al Pacino Scarface, right? Mm. The market's great. Everyone's got money. The lapels are big. The, the the collars on the shirts are big. Big chains, pleats on the pants, big breaks on the pants. So when the economy tanked in '08. That's when the skinny suit started to come around. So I tell people it's almost like a trick that the designers play on you by convincing you you want that skinny suit. Were they saving suit, fabric or what? Was that the they're case? Saving, they're wow, saving on okay. the fabric. They're saving on the fabric, right? And if you look at old, old fashion of like kings, uh, you know, it, it, throughout the Renaissance. It was stuff, loose. Big, right? But they were big, but they were big dudes too. In the pleats because yeah. more fabric money yeah that was so the thing yeah if you're walking around with all this flowy garments on that's why cats would joke about the dudes with the high waters because you had the same pair of pants on since you were a kid because you broke right you poor you only got one pair of pants you know <laughs> so, I'm saying, so man. that's what are you so giving this one out of 10 that, let me ask you that first though what are you giving this one out of 10 dude i'm just not there on this outfit i mean i i, I think there are people out there that are about this I just, it's not something I could really recommend. Like, you really got to want this. Yeah. Like, I'll be honest to me. Like, I always say, what, six and above is attractive? This ain't attractive to me. I'm like four points something on this. Like, okay, okay. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you there, man. I, I'll i be generous to him. I'll give him a 5.1. I'll be generous, you know, but then, gosh dang, like, that does not look good at all, man. I saw like, this. I couldn't believe it when I saw this. I was like, what the heck is this? I don't know. The thing about this outfit is, like, if you going out with your boys and one of them cats has got this outfit on, like, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to be at that same party, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I feel like you're kind of, like, just asking, like, it's, like, almost like that dude that got, like, shoved in the, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be judged here, but it's, like, almost like that dude that got shoved in the locker so much, and it's just, like, that guy that's just asking to get hated on at a party, like, when he walks in the door, people are just gonna be like legit behind his back, like oh, you see that guy too. What a uh, what a fucking idiot over there, you know? I I think this outfit perfectly uh, kind of illustrates my theory earlier about um, style versus fashion. You can get somebody that's gonna convince you that this outfit is the business, right? This mm -hmm. is high fashion. It's what they're wearing overseas. You're a stupid American. Your stuff doesn't fit. You don't know what you're talking about. And, like, this dude has to have, like, a whole pack of those dudes with him. Like, they're part of some K-pop band. Then yeah, it's gonna seriously. Work. It's just you know more of, like, a teenage boy kind of look. You know what I'm saying? It like, is, a little it's, kid. It's, it's very young. Um, it's not bad. I'm just, I would like you to be more professional, classic, yeah. and also more stylish, right? You don't buy fashion, buy style. You know, get some style for yourself. All right, cool. All right, yeah. So, definitely not liking this. Um, let's go to the next one here. This is more, yeah. this one, this one, polka dot look. We got the flower up top. That is like starting to become a thing too. Like one of my favorite fighters, yep. Conor McGregor, pulls this off yep. every time with one of his suits. I have actually become a fan now of it. Huge yep. fan. I feel like this one is just like more of that classic kind of like boss look. Just like a guy that's just raving, oozing with confidence when he walks in the room. What do you sure. think? Yeah, I mean, I, I there, there's some things I like about this outfit. There's a lot of things I don't like about this Really? Outfit. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I mean, from the top down, I'm pretty OCD about how the coat shoulder should fit you. And unless this was intentionally supposed to be, like, a nice roped Italian shoulder, but obviously the dude never made an Italian shoulder before, this, this structure on the shoulder is just way off. Um, so it looks like padding almost, like you'd see on a women's like uh, on a women's jacket, or no? It doesn't even look that intentional. I mean, to me, it really looks like it's it's a it's a cheap garment that's that's somewhat poorly fitted, with the idea that if I make it look tight, that's gonna sell it because it looks <laughs> tailored. Uh, but it's not tailored; it's just tight, and that's another thing that you gotta know the difference: tight versus tailored. Um, you always hear Conor McGregor say that it's tailored. I'm tailored. You guys look like mom, I'm tailored. Um, but even him, he's like bulging out of the coat shoulders on some of his stuff. So that's another thing I really try to educate guys on is find that nice relaxed fit from the shoulder. That should you shouldn't have to tailor that. Um, the more breaking that you have at the shoulder, it's telling me that it's either a cheap garment or it's a bad fit. 
So again, I like I like the outfit. I ain't hating on the fabric. Dudes that wear watches, I'm kind of like, eh, who, I don't know anymore. But you don't like watches no more, dude. I mean, it's kind of like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you investing in? You know what I'm saying? You got to have that Rolex. You got to Patek Philippe flex on people. It's like, dude, come on, man. I, I'm <laughs> all about the new wave of of of, of clothing where it should be sustainable. <laughs> You know, you should really invest in, you should invest in things that are, are quality, that they're made um, consciously, mm -hmm. and also look like a chess game. Think a couple moves out as to what buying this product is, is saying about me. What is it saying for the company? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you can go get a Gucci watch. It ain't a nice watch, you know, and these dudes are out there spending three, five hundred bucks on it. It's like, dude. You're just trying to flex, you know what I'm saying? I get it. I ain't even going to hate on you because if that's your game, that's your style, cool. But um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm past the kind of just spending money to spend money. You know, we're in a new era, I think, especially after COVID. And, and your clothing should reflect that, too. You know, people are more concerned about the sustainability of the product. You know, how are the sheep treated where this fabric comes from? Uh, what's the wage that this dude's getting paid that makes this watch, you know, because chances are it's just getting mass manufactured overseas. They're slapping the designer name on it and charging you 600% markup, you know, so do your research. So is I this like something watch. that like you're like just like going into? I keep saying like, 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 sorry guys. Uh, I like I lots of likes. Lots like of likes. Videos. Like lots and subscribe guys. Likes. Like and subscribe. Oh, uh, dude, I've been <laughs> dude, I've been like, see, I keep going at it again. Um, so the first two episodes, man, holy crap. I had so many people like reach out to me like, dude, like, like, like. And I'm like, you know what, man? I'm working on it. It's, we're working like, on it, guys. Like it. It's like better it. than um. I'd rather say like than um. Yeah, and then um. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and um. No, no, we're not doing that. So we're working on it. I feel like we've gotten better at it. But other than that, man, so with that kind of perspective at, on it, are yep. you looking – is that part of the business now? Like, because you are in the suit game, you are like comforting people and their needs and wants. Do you have to like kind of develop that mindset almost to where you're thinking of the bigger picture now? Like, you're not oh, just yeah. looking at the suit, but you have to like also like. I keep saying like society needs. You have to you have to uh, match society now. Like that is a big thing to, you know, what people want and don't like. Just with the whole animals and everything about that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and everybody's got a different perspective on this. Like, I'm just going to be candid because uh, I can right now and the haters will hate later. Um, so, you know, to me. If you're going to hate this comment. Just hit comment. We, we'll well, we'll take dress, the comments. You, know, you, you, dress, you dress to yourself. You dress to your character. Hey, if you that douchebag with the big old tag watch that's rolling the brand new Audi and this, that and the other thing. Great. You're that guy. Obviously, what you value in your life isn't what I value in mine. Um, so to me, I'm very much about the sustainability and the, in the story and the history, like, what are you telling me, uh, with your clothing choices, right? Are you telling me you don't know about fashion? So you just want to buy the most expensive thing and then rock that. And now you're supposed to look like, you know, what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Or, or do you actually know your fabric and know, you know, what your inner style is and you're trying to be an artist and express yourself to me. Um, or you're getting dressed for an occasion, you know, and you just want to be buttoned up right. I, I ain't saying I'm against it, but I'm just saying, like, I know this cat, that that's his outfit. And it's like, bro, I, I ain't never been to Martha's Vineyard, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. <laughs> are you talking about Vineyard Vines, dude? Is that what you're talking about? It must be nice, bro. You know what I'm saying? These prep kids, it must be nice, right? It must you know? be nice. Oh, yeah, we're calling, we're calling you guys out, man. You guys better be careful. But... Uh, I kind of look at the suit game kind of like more of like a wine kind of thing. And that's something I've kind of like gone into. I don't know my stuff completely, but I do know, uh, I feel like when you do like look at a suit, you're looking at the price or watches or Gucci, whatever it is, people are looking at the price and like, oh, since it is expensive, that's what I'm going to get. And I feel like when people do that with wine, they're like, give me the most exp expensive thing you got. But when really, if you look at wine though, it's where the bush is grown, what side of the hill it's on, north, east, west, south, the type of bush it is. Like, people don't know the details. And I feel like with the suit game, it's all about the details. Am I not? Am I wrong For on sure. that or no? 
Oh, for sure. Well, and you made a good correlation that clothing is like wine. There, there's a price point for every pocket. You want a you want a ten dollar bottle of wine. You want a ten thousand dollar bottle of wine. There's a range, right? And and I think, uh, at least for me, I'm trying to get away from this sort of statusy notion of the of the dress attire that that because guys aren't going into offices anymore. Why do you need to flex on each other? It's like you're getting into an arms race with your homie about who can out dress each other it's like what are y'all gonna go on a date later cool you know what i'm saying like what's the point right you know like who you who you flexing for you know and, and to me i just feel like like you said it's it's the knowledge about why you're making these decisions because the wine i'll give people the pepsi challenge with the bottle of wine and you'll go buy the 20 dollar cab sauvignon from california all day because you think the chianti that cost me 200 bucks from Italy is too dry or something because you don't know any better. So uh, it, it is educational, um, educating yourself about it. But at the same time, hey, if, if you that dude that likes barefoot wine, do be that guy. Yo, know? I'm, I'm Boone's Farm, baby. We, we three dollars hey, bottle of wine. All I drink day. barefoot, bro. Okay, man. That's that, co- that's that bro cause life now. <laughs> hey, you know, and that's the reality. So that's who you are. Hey, if you're a thief, be a good thief. You know what I'm saying? Dress right. to your part, right? You know, I, but to me, it's a little contrived. I see a lot of it, you know, and from dudes that don't know any better, that are just buying the hype, right? They're 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 buying that, like it's like all they're, trend, man. Like the they all, they want us to get the trend. It's the yeah. whatever the trend is, they're hopping on the bandway. Make your own trend. You gotta get your foot in the guys. door somewhere, dude. And honestly, where I started in the clothing world compared to where I am now, bro, I look just nuts when I was younger, crazy stuff I wear to high school, just, at, I was the dude asking to get put in the locker. You what were you wearing, me. man? Oh, dude, I was, man, I, you know me, I'm always trying to push someone's envelope, you know, I'd have, old, <laughs> you know, I'd have suits on, I was, you know, dressing like I was in some film noir movie from the 1930s. Dude, I love that, man, that's a confidence right there, dude. It's just, you know, it's all about, you, you find these characters in, in movies or in history that you look up towards and then you think about what is it about them that I see in myself, you know, or the other way around, right? And that helps you build up your sense of self. Um, and to me, that's what the clothing uh, should reflect. So no, yeah. Okay. And I mean, for even me, dude, I'm either going to be in sweats or I'm, ro- I'm rocking a suit. I fucking love suits, dude. I don't care what anyone says. I'll be that dude. And someone once asked me, I went to a birthday party. No one was rocking a suit. It was a 50th birthday party. No one was rocking a suit. And I walk in there. Everyone's dressed nice. You know, they got the button ups, but no one's rocking a suit. I walk in there with the suit, man. And I think it was this one, too. And they're like, dude, like, a little overdressed. I'm like, there's no such thing as business casual. So I was like, I had to, had to throw that on them. Like, hey, man, there's no such thing as business casual. You, hey, you, you, we out here, all right? We're that guy, all right? All right, so out of 10, we just got off on a whole tangent. But out of 10, what are you giving this one right here, man? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm down there on this outfit. I don't know. It's not appealing to me. Uh, it, it, just the fit, that shoulder. If that shoulder was maybe a little bit more rounded off and he traded that that, that watch for some other, some, some spiritual beads or something. <laughs> spiritual beads. Something, right? Them cats rock that. I, I, but I'm under five on this, dude. I'm oh, like, wow. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to give him a little bit more love than you. I'm going to give him a 6.6. I'm going to give him a 6.6. Right. Uh, you know... That's fair. He got I, the, the polka dots, it's all right. It doesn't look bad, but, you know, it's not the best thing I've seen, you know? Yeah. I feel you. I feel you on that. I get behind that. All right, cool. So we're going to go on to this next one here. It's yeah. you guys. And the reason why I want to ask you is just because they're all wearing white shoes. But yes. different suits. That's the tricky part. They're all different Okay, so suits. I love this. I love this outfit. I love these fits here. This is great. This is great. This is a perfect destination wedding look. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that this dude in the charcoal suit is the groom. Yeah, yeah, because he has to be the one, you know, standing out. But, but again, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. Lighter <coughs> is more formal than darker. Mm-hmm. So unless he's marrying these other three dudes, you know, it's kind of like, well, where's the bride? I don't know. Um well, it's a groom's photo. Like they have groom's photos. They have groom's photos. No, no doubt. So, so some of this outfit's kind of out of context, right? But obviously, yeah. these 
were at a wedding. They all got matching suits. There's boutonnieres. So for me, for the groom, I would have rather seen the groom actually go lighter. Yeah, okay, lighter. yeah. That's what I was thinking too, dude. Like, it's the charcoal is a cool look, but I feel like that's more of like a winter look. Am I wrong there? Like, we've talked about this before. It's more like you wear that, you know, with the, you know, like even the collar. Not the collar. What is it? The, no. Turtleneck. Turtleneck. Yeah, that's what I'm th- trying to think of. You know, that's why I, I rock to uh, a wedding once in the winter. You know, I rock to charcoal with the turtleneck. So, I don't know. I, I do agree with you. I think the lighter suits are way doper. But I was just super intrigued just because two different suits, same shoes. So, I was just, like, kind of, like, wondering what you thought about that. Yeah, and that's – you'll see that a lot for, for wedding parties where the groom will just buy everybody a pair of kicks or – I mean, to me, this is clearly like a destination wedding. So it's like, why would you wear a suit like you're going to wear to work? You know, I I get it. You probably want to buy one suit you're going to wear again. But I can guarantee you when this dude got into the pictures with next to his bride, the bride's probably probably all white, right? Hmm. So it's not bad. I I think it's just you're a little off mark. I love the white shoes. I ain't going to hate it. Oh, dude, they look so clean with with that white. So clean. I'm all about the sneakers. I mean... The, 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 like the brother next to the dude with the smile on his face right there with the white, he's wearing that outfit the best. He I really mean, is, dude. That that's rocking his skin tone, dude. Super it clean. It looks the best. Even the dude on the left, I don't know if the dude on the right. If you guys look at the picture here, oh, I keep burping. The dude, the dude on the right, he, he's like he's not posing right. Like you can see, like watch me, chat. Like you can see the jacket just go up. I don't like that look. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You have I to make sure the suit looks clean when you're in the photos. That matters. I think the dude on the left looks super clean. The dude, like you said, you know, um, the black guy in the middle looks super good. Like, yeah, just rocking his skin oh, tone right there. So he's, clean. He's rocking it the best. I think, yeah, the tailoring, he definitely knocked it out of the park. I just love it. You know, to me, again, it's this, this, this element of you're dressing to the occasion. Yeah. Where you are, what you're doing. Um I mean, I want a pineapple in my hand drinking out of it with an outfit like this, you know? So you don't want that stiff business. Yeah, exactly. That. So what are you giving this one, man? I guess we have to give two scores here, charcoal and the white. Oh, dude, if I can if I can take the if I can take the brother next to him right there, that that's nine point oh all day. I got him at eight point nine. I'm at eight point nine. I, I wanna break the nine point oh. But I'm gonna have him at eight point nine. He looks great, man. Su- super He's great. Sharp. Even the groom, dude, to me, like, he looks good, contact. but it's not a, it's not the groom, like you know what I'm saying. He looks good. I mean, that's like, that's a, that's a six point five or something. On yeah, I'm gonna give him a little bit more love. I'll give him a seven four, but the suits, the he the looks garment. good, but it's just not a destination look. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not tropical. It looks like something you should be wearing in Minnesota. You know, in the middle of winter. I mean, I like the tennies. I'm all, like, from the, the tennies look clean. Mom, they look clean, man. I'm trying to figure out what kind of tennis shoes those are when I was trying to... They look like you know, Pumas. Those, I think those are Pumas, man. Pumas are coming back. Don't sleep on the Pumas, guys. I might give me some I mean, Pumas. A lot, you could go look at, like, a like a Maison Margiela shoe that that's like that. That would cost you a couple hundred. It would probably six, seven hundred. What are the so. shoes I got? The ones I bought. The... You, you got those, are they Johnson and Murphy? No, ACS? it's like John Adams, or what are they called? The Allen Edmonds? Yeah, I think those are what I got. I think so. Yeah, those are high end. Yeah, those I like high. those. The Adams ones are super dope. I like those. Yeah, they're, they're, they're high end. Yeah. I, I mean, they're well made. They come from Wisconsin, those ones. Yeah, no, those are sweet. All right, so we got that going. This will be our last photo, chat. I know we sent one more, but I'm going to make this one our last one because I want to end on a good note here. I yeah. know, I know, yeah, just because the other one's a little bit basic, but this one right here, this will be our last one. I yeah. know you're a big fan of the wall, and I saved this one just for you, dude. I see you rocking the wall. I don't see a lot of people rocking it, Chad. I'm not knocking your look, but Matt, what are your thoughts on the wall? Are you wearing wall yeah. right now? This is it. I mean, this is where I'm at. In you are wearing wall. Well. Okay, let's go. I was, it's great hosting, guys. Great hosting. Different. Don't forget it. Everybody's different. I mean, I, I love this outfit because from the top down, look at the way the shoulder fits him on that. It's yeah. just natural. There's no breaking. That coat just rolls into his natural shoulder. He has this three-button coat that's been rolled back, so that top button is just rolled over, not even meant to be buttoned. He's matching it up with the textured wool tie. He's got the textured pocket square. It's that fine herringbone suit. 
this dude, he put it all together, right? And it doesn't look contrived. It no, it doesn't. It, it's so basic, but it's so unique at the same time, almost. Yeah. Just because of the and, texture. And this, is, this is where I like to get most of my clients is to a point where your clothing just looks organic. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you can you can go into your closet with a blindfold on and just grab things, and it all works together because it's all been designed with you in mind, right, as the wearer. So everything is fitting your color palette. It's all fitting your body type. The fashion, cut the fashion out of it. I don't care. I could take <coughs> this dude. I could take him from 1920 to 2020. This outfit's classic. Yeah. It's never going to go Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it's ever going away, too. Um, it's like, is it going to grab you? Like, the bright this? No, but it's not supposed to. It's just any day of the week, whatever you're doing. Do you rock this in the summer, Chad? Do you ever wear warm in the summer? No. See, and that's a thing that's educational with guys, too. You would start trading these wools for cotton and linen once spring, summer rolls around. Yeah, so okay. you got to dress. Okay, yeah. Because I know you're a big wool guy, but obviously, like, we're in Minnesota, so, like... I see you in wool a lot, yeah. obviously because it's cold here, but that's something I always like wonder, is this something you can rock in the summer, but obviously not just because. It's probably hot, you know, yeah. I'd say an outfit like that here, you're probably late September to like May on a good year, you know. Okay. Um, and there's like the suit you have on is more of a tropical weight wool, so it is wool, it's just a very fine uh, worsted wool, so it breathes well. Yeah. Um, and that's another great thing about why you want natural fibers. There's a really big resurgence now of the menswear where it's all getting like Lululemon, spandex. It, it's like the women's wear thing is You're crossing in there. You're coming out my whole closet, man. <laughs> but, but because guys want that fit so tight yeah. that the manufacturers are like, well, I can't go any tighter because you're going to break it. So now they're putting uh, elastic. And, you know, just to end it out here on an educational thing, too, the, the clothing industry is the second largest, largest pollutant on this planet. That means that next to the extraction industry, which is all the oil, all the gas, yep, obviously, yeah. we create more chemicals, more waste on this planet through clothing than wow. any, this is okay. anything else. Did not know that. All the dyes, all the chemicals, the polymers, the plastics, the way we process leather, it's toxic, bro. It's destroying the planet. We're filling up landfills with excess junk. So this is the other thing. Don't buy fashion stuff because you're going to wear it once and you'll never look at it again. And eventually this stuff just fills up landfills. It's made out of polyester, so it's got a nuclear half-life of, like, uranium. It's never going to break down. Um, you know, that's why I'm about the natural fibers, you know. And when you wear a garment that is made of a wool or something, it, it, it's actually creating a microclimate with your body. So as your body is, is, is heating up, as it's sweating, that garment is actually it's absorbing that. It's wicking that moisture away. It's allowing the garment to breathe. You know, And then you don't even really got to like sit there and iron the stuff. It's natural. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's the way that the fabric is supposed to be. So that's the other piece of that, that sustainability. You know, ask, following the the tracks of where am I buying this product? Where is it coming from? You know, be careful with fast fashion brands like Express, H and M, Zara. These companies they enslave people around the world by giving them slave wages to work in terrible conditions, and they're just polluting our planet with with poorly made product that's they're selling to you for a huge value. So so do your research, you know, and, and really more importantly, like I said. You know, try to find out uh, in yourself what is driving me towards this product. Am I buying this because I saw the ad on Instagram that I have to have this to be cool? Um, did I get this? Whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I just fell in love with it. Uh, you know, slow down when you're making these purchases because these are big investments that should last you a lifetime and you shouldn't just throw your money around willy-nilly. So. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you, man. And honestly, just thank you for the education part. Uh, I had to ask you, we didn't write it yet. What are you giving this one out of 10? Oh, I'm up there. I mean, this is that 9.5. Okay, sure. okay, yeah. okay. I'm going yeah. to give this one an 8.3. 8.3. Right. I, I love it. Wool is just not my type. I don't think I could ever pull off wool. I don't think I would ever wear it. But I do respect it. You know, it's such a classic thing. It's been around forever. I'll make you a believer. 
I'll make you a believer. Okay, bro. I don't have to come in the shop, man. We'll, we'll work something out, though, man. Yeah. But heck yeah. Seriously, though. But guys, that has been the Suave fa- Fashion. I, we're going to try to make this a segment. We'll see how you guys like it. Chav, like, um, something like this, dude, uh, I really enjoy talking to you, man. Seriously, oh, just sure. just to be able to have this conversation, I can really show off my personality because sometimes, you know, when you have interviews, you know, you're just like, you know, you're just, you know, sitting there quietly, yeah. you know, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what would you think about that? This one, we can really, you know, be ourselves here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We want to make this a regular thing. Um, we're going to come up with different ideas for this. Chav, I hope to have you on again, man. Thank you so oh, anytime, much. Anytime, man. Yeah, please feel free to reach out. Hit us with questions. Like it, comment, share Yeah, and it. honestly, if you guys want to hear some more fashion, like if you guys have questions, reach out to me. DM me on Instagram, Michael Vasquez Jr. No space, no capitalization, nothing. Just Michael Vasquez Jr. Reach out and comment on here. Like we want to hear your guys' feedback. This episode I'm super pumped for. It will be aired uh, next uh, Sunday. I don't know what day that is, but it will be next Sunday, chat. But other than that, guys, make sure to go check out our sponsor too, Winifred and Bancroft. Um, great stuff coming out. We're uh, we're we we're, we're gonna be rocking it, guys. Number one trade podcast in Minnesota. Don't forget it. Until next time, we'll see you guys soon, Chab. Good to have you on, brother. You got man. Keep it real. Take care.